Welcome to AllFreeCrochet.com's learning channel. Come to our website for thousands of free patterns and inspiring ideas. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, our Facebook page, and our website to continue to receive free patterns and crafting deals. Your video host Mikey is now standing by to give you another free tutorial. Welcome back to AllFreeCrochet.com. If you know how to double crochet, this tutorial is for you. This is about creating a tartan blanket or a tartan look-alike with crochet using simple double crochet. So if you know how to double crochet, this is for you. This is a very, very simple technique which is actually mind-blowing to many people. This is one of the blankets that attend with me virtually every show that I go because it really is a true celebration of creativity here and uh, the simplicity of it allows every viewer to really be successful. So I'm gonna give you a couple tips that we should uh, focus on. What makes this really quite popular uh, or make it very believable to be real tartan is that there's actually really wide strips every now and then within this blanket. And you're gonna find with yourself is that if your strips are too thin, you're really not gonna get the full effect of what you wanna do. The other thing that you're going to want to pay attention to is that you're going to want colors that contrast each other so they're kind of opposite because you really do need the wow factor of maybe like this bright uh, yellow that contrasts with the green and just really gives it a really quite a kick. In today's tutorial I'm going to take a little sample just like you see and I'm going to show you how to convert it into tartan. Now the colors here, I wasn't paying attention to my own advice, they were too close to each other so though the dark blue is really great and the white is great the actual light blue is just a color in here that is just not going. But the whole point of this is to show you how to make a tartan, and so I'm going to show you up close on how this is actually To create done. a tartan blanket, all you need to do is double crochet. So you have to just double crochet yourself some horizontal stripes, so just back and forth, back and forth. And what I recommend is that some of the stripes be really quite significantly bigger than others and really contrasting to each other. If you're not sure what kind of tartan colors to use, I would str strongly recommend using Google and just uh, look at some pictures and see what colors you're using to, and see if you like it for yourself. Then what we're going to do is that we're going to begin the tartan effect and that is something that's done after everything is completed. So when you look at this here you'll see that you got blue stripes here and when it turns into blue over here it disappears but here it shows up again, disappears and comes back out. White, you can't even see the white when it's in the white and then it just starts to contrast out like that and again the blue. So what I want to show you how is how that actually is working its way through and what technique you need in order to make that successfully for yourself. What you need to look at is now you're going to start doing a weaving technique and so you can actually see there's a little bit of blue there mixed in but you can start seeing the blue as it works its way down and then the next one is up and then down up down, up, down. So what's going to happen here is that you're going to provide a weaving technique. So every time you go through and where you're weaving is right directly between the posts. Okay, so right between. So there's one double crochet, another double crochet, and the line is going right in between both, just like so. So what we need to do to get that started is that we want to pick the color. I'm just going to go with blue just to get uh, for argument's sake. And you want to double up on the color. So what I recommend is just pull out enough material and be generous so that you have a lot left over on both sides of the blanket and so just pull it out of the ball and then what you could just do is then cut it okay so you can cut that strip so now what I need to do is that it doesn't really matter how you do it um, you can use a needle in order to feed it through but because this sample is so small I can actually just use a crochet hook so this one here it's over so what I want to do is that the next one I pull through is that I want to pull it under so what I'm going to just do is start off going down and basically I'm going to weave with my crochet hook between the double crochets that are the ones next below it. Okay, It actually goes pretty simple once you get yourself into a rhythm and you know exactly where to look. Okay, So now we just want to put the loop through just like so and now we just want to pull that all the way through. So just be gentle about it. You don't want to be pulling any extra strings. And again, it's just about getting into the rhythm. And actually, this process is actually pretty fast once you get onto it, even though I'm making it look a little difficult right now. So we just want to pull it nice and generously through, just like so. And what we're going to just do now is stretch the material stretch it out. You don't want this so that it's pulling it back shut, so you want it stretched out so that the string is laying nice and flat 
and what we're going to do is start on the next uh, concept in order to fasten this completely permanently into position. This is the string that was coming from the ball. I'm just going to cut the other one there. So that was the other string coming from the ball. And I now want to cut the loop that is on the other side as well. So I have not fastened it in. So what I want to do is that I want to stick the hook through the side where it's last coming through. Okay, so I'm going to stick it through. And I'm just going to grab the material. So I'm just going to grab it and pull it through and keep it on your hook and now you're going to have a loop and now just put the remaining of the material on through that hole and pull it tight. That's all it is everybody. So just now that we're going to do the other side and just making sure that it's going to sit flush. Now this is where it's coming through. Now this is the other side and we just want to go in from the side that it's last coming out. So going in, we're going to pull it through just like so and now the remaining of the material. So this is going to require a little bit of fingers in order to make this work and then we're just going to pull it through and pull it snug. So that's all it is how to create a tartan. So what you want to do is, do is come up with some pattern ideas and maybe if you're looking at a pattern on Google you can actually see what good sizes they would be in order to uh, make this um, really believable. But this is how you create tartan. It's actually a very simple concept but it's actually pretty sharp looking. And uh, again, it's just double crochet, which is weaving these things, uh, things through and then just tying it at the end and really making a project go from pretty interesting to really super incredible. Until next time, on behalf of All Free Crochet, I'm your host, Mikey.